Okay, so recall that uh, we have the definition for the resolving operator that depends on lambda and a um it is lambda minus a to the minus one the big burst of this um with the uh, lambda in the resolving set. Okay, with the resolving set is a row. Or by definition of uh, the land complex numbers, lambdas such that uh, lambda minus a da that goes from da to x is bijective. From this definition, one can say that. Uh, we have this equality a r lambda a is equal to lambda r lambda a minus r one can say that this is because well we can take the i in the other side and have here lambda r lambda a minus a r lambda a and so this is um, r lambda a lambda minus a okay and this is lambda minus a the inverse of this lambda minus a so this is something we are going to use so now a uh, lemma. Okay, so let uh, a d a. It's a um, closed um, densely defined operator. And suppose. Uh, there exists exists a W and an A M greater than zero such that uh, the interval W infinity is included in the resolved set of A and the norm of lambda r lambda a is less than equal than m this is for all um, lambda greater or equal than w then uh, then what we have first lambda or lambda a of x converts to x for all x in x and this is always when lambda goes to infinity and second lambda a or lambda a of x is equal to uh, well to change the a with the r or lambda a x a x and this once again converges to a x when all lambda goes to infinity and um, this is for all x in the domain of a okay so for the first um, we have a lambda or a lambda a x converges to x when a lambda goes to infinity. So, because of the formula, this formula, we know that um, if um, 
for example y is in dA then we have lambda or lambda a y is equal to r lambda a a y plus y okay so first what happened to the norm of uh, this lambda or lambda a or y that this is equal to uh, the norm of uh, or uh, lambda a a y plus y okay and we say this is uh, less than equal than or lambda a a y plus well y so what happened with this we have normal for lambda a normal of a y but uh, we can bound this by um m over lambda okay so uh, we will have m over lambda a y recall that uh, We have this uniform bound for for R lambda A, okay. So we, you can see that when lambda goes to infinity, it will go, and so this will um, converge to um, norm of Y. So uh, we have that. Uh, this expression goes to y when lambda goes to infinity okay because we have that uh, well we can also express it that that r lambda a a y plus y minus the limit minus y that this is equal to just having r a a y and this it would be bounded okay so this proves that this goes to y so to complete uh, the proof we just say that uh, we have a uniform bound okay that uh, we have the lambda r and the a it's an equal than m. That means that uh, this is for all uh, lambda greater than w. So if this happens, we have a uniform bound for our lambda a lambda. So in that way, we have a uniform bound. We will have the statement we will have this okay so this bound does not depend on the x so it can be any x the second part will be just a plain one because for example if we have lambda r, r um, a x and we already know that um, lambda r we have this um, and we have that uh, lambda r lambda a x goes to x and we have that uh, it is equal to lambda r um, lambda a a x So we want to see this, but uh, we have this. We have the lambda r x converges to x, and we have we can apply a. A is closed. We have this lambda can go out. We can exchange the a with the r. 
because it's a resolvent operator. Okay. Okay. So now um, the generation theorem, more known as uh, he you see the theorem of uh, 1948 and this is uh, generation theorem for the contraction case so recall contraction let's see what was that or contractive case it was when recall that we had uh, the norm of tt of a T0 semi root that was less than equal than an n that was greater than 1 e wt. So contractive will be when w is 0 and n is equal to 1 in this case. Okay. So on this 1. So for a linear operator, um, a with domain DA on a, on the back space X then we have the following properties these are all equivalent all equivalent okay so the first ADA generates a uh, C0 semigroup B ABA is closed densely defined And for every lambda greater than zero, one has that uh, lambda is in the resolvent set. And the norm of uh, lambda or lambda a is less than equal to 1 this is for lambda real and z we have again a d a is um, closed again densely defined and now we will have a lambda um, lambda complex for every lambda complex number now with the real part greater than zero when it has well the same lambda in the resolvent set and now we will have that the norm of R and A is less than equal to 1 over the real part of lambda. Okay. okay, so we already know that uh, C0 semigroup is closed and densely defined. Recall that the, the theorem that we have at uh, a is a generator of a semigroup, we have the DA is dense, and A is a closed operator. So closed, densely defined, we have it. What about this part? Well, here we have that we have a semigroup, C0 semigroup. This theorem tells us that if M is equal to 1 and W is 0, we have that uh, the norm is 1 over the real part of lambda. That is exactly this, and when lambda is real, we can just take it at this. So we're just missing go from one of these to A because A to these ones are already wrong. We're going to see that in the next video.